Have you ever considered starting your own podcast, but you're not quite sure how it will benefit your brand or your business? Well, today I want to share with you why I started my podcast in 2015 and tens of thousands of downloads later, I'm still going strong. What's going on, YouTube family? Welcome to another video. I am showing up just a little bit differently this week because I want to talk to you about podcasting. Are you someone who has considered starting your own podcast but not quite sure why you should start one, how it would benefit you, your business, your brand? Well, this is the video that's just for you because I'm going to share why I started my podcast in 2015. Can you believe it? 2015. That's almost nine years ago. And I'm still going strong with my podcast and getting downloads each and every week from individuals all across the world. And I want to share with you today the seven reasons why I decided to start my podcast, which the name of my podcast is Maximize Your Brand with Markeith Braden. I'll leave a link below in the description because it has its own YouTube channel as well. So go check it out. But before we get started, make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel because I'm showing up each and every week to talk to you about personal branding, personal development, and even giving you some lifestyle videos on this channel. But today we're going to be talking about podcasting and why I decided to start my very own podcast when I began my business. So if you watched my video from last week when I talked about my layoff experience, one of the things that I shared in there was that when I started my business, I had just got laid off. And as I was thinking about starting a business, one of the first things that I considered was how would I market myself? How would people come to know what it is that I do as a brand, as a business? And the first thing that I came across actually was public speaking. I've always liked public speaking and that's standing on the stage, speaking to many or doing workshops. But we were really moving into this whole digital age. And so many people were getting into this thing called podcasting, which has been around for quite some time, but it's really still New And so I did a lot of investigating around podcasting because I knew I love speaking. But before I even started podcasting, I actually had a radio show here in Nashville on Saturdays from 8 to 830, which I called it Shift Your Life. And in Shift Your Life, I just wanted to kind of get a feel for being on the radio, learning how radio works, learning how to work a microphone, learning how to be a host of a show. And each Saturday in 2015, I started out on the radio with a 30-minute show that I paid for each and every week. And as time progressed, podcasting kept coming up while I was doing this radio show. And I decided that I would stop the radio show and then get into podcasting. And it was probably one of the best decisions. I won't say probably. It was one of the best decisions that I've made for my business because there's just so much opportunity when it comes to having your own show and having your own media. Let's go ahead and dive into these seven reasons why I started my podcast in 2015 in order to start marketing myself and becoming known as a speaker, coach, and consultant. So the first reason why I started a podcast, because podcasting is one of the easiest ways for me, in my opinion, to start creating content. And if you've been in this digital marketing space or in this information age, you know that content is king. 
the more content you're able to create, the more opportunity it is for individuals to identify who you are and to connect you with the problem that you solve. And podcasting did exactly that for me. It was real easy for me to be able to create content because I had decided to do an interview based podcast and then sprinkle a little bit of solo shows in there each and every week. And so being able to connect with people and ask people to be on the show was real easy. And it helped me to be able to create content each and every week because you need content for your business. In today's age, content, content, content is a must. You've got to have content for your business. I don't care what it is that you do, whether you're a plumber, whether you are an electrician, a doctor, a dentist, a lawyer, and you are an entrepreneur, you need to be about the business of creating content. And, and podcasting really is a great way to get that done. I'll never forget when I heard Oprah Winfrey speak once and she said that everyone ultimately needs media. And what media does, it really markets you and what you have to offer. And why not own your media by creating a podcast? So reason number one is that podcasting helps you to create content and content truly is king. Reason number two, why I decided to create a podcast for my brand and for my business was that there's a low barrier to starting a podcast. What am I saying? That today you can start a podcast literally from your phone. All you need is a phone just to get started. You really don't need a lot of expensive equipment to get started. And I didn't have a lot of expensive equipment when I started. Actually, I had a free Zoom account because I love to do video podcasting, which is something I may talk about in a later video. And all I purchased was a microphone, a $50 microphone. And that's how I got started. So there's a very low barrier of entry. So a microphone, if you want to do video, you can do a free Zoom account. And then you have to have a hosting account, which costs me literally about $20 a month in order to host my podcast and upload it to iTunes, Spotify, and all of the major podcasting platforms. So you have a real low barrier of entry, $20 a month, $50 or less for a microphone that gives you decent audio. And then if you decide to do a video style type podcast, you can just use a free Zoom account or a free stream yard account or some type of way where you can capture video right directly on your laptop or desktop computer. So a very low barrier of entry to start your podcast. But remember, I said it, you can literally start that podcast right here from your phone and you can record the audio directly on your phone and upload it to your hosting. And one of the things that I learned here recently is that Adobe also has a free version where you can upload that audio and enhance the audio that makes it sound like radio quality. So it's very low barrier of entry to get your podcast started. Reason number three why I started a podcast for my brand and business is because you can pretty much start your podcast around any topic. I mean, if you go out there and you go to iTunes or Spotify and look up podcasts, you will see podcasts in a lot of different niches and a lot of different topic areas. And that's what's great about podcasting is that you can talk about what it is that you love to do. For me, it was an opportunity for me to talk about personal branding. It's an opportunity for me to share inspiration and help people with their personal development. But for somebody else, they may want to talk about knitting or another person, they may want to talk about their travel experiences. And so podcasting, yes, has been around for quite some time, but in my opinion, it's still fairly new for many people. And you have an opportunity to really share your experiences and expertise around any topic area that you love. One of the shows that I watch on Apple TV, 
uh, is a show where a lady has a podcast and she does crime type stories on her podcast as she helps to solve some of these crimes, leveraging her podcast that people listen to each and every week. And I love that because she was able to turn her interest in crimes and solving some of these crimes and put it in a media company of her own podcast to be able to help the police officers and help the city solve some of the crimes that were happening in her city. So you can start a podcast in any niche and you have large podcasts. You have podcasts that are on the middle level of being known. And then you have smaller podcasts that are very niche specific, but they still all have a particular audience and they still all can get downloads as long as you're consistent. And we can talk about that in a whole nother video. So yeah, you can start your podcast on any given niche. You can share on that topic and build a community and an audience just around something that you truly have interest in and that you love. Reason number four why I started my podcast is because it provided an opportunity for me to market and advertise in a unique and intimate way. What do I mean by that? Well, if you have your own show, you get to share your own commercials, you get to share your own advertisement, or you can leverage your media, leverage your podcast, and share other advertisements from friends, colleagues who may have a product or service that is aligned with your podcast. But get this, it's in a unique, intimate way. Think about it. In 2023, we have cars that are equipped to connect with your Apple iPhone or your Google Android iPhone. And these cars come with Apple Play or Google Media and directly connect to your phone in order to listen to podcasts as people are going to work and from work or as they are enjoying a a trip, a road trip to wherever it is that they want to go. They can literally listen to your podcast on their way to their destination. I'll never forget when I was listening and wanting to start my podcast, there was a saying around, you get to carry or people get to carry you in their ear while they're out walking, while they're out cutting the grass, while they're driving to a particular destination. And you get to share your products and services as advertising on your podcast. What better way than to get known and advertise your skills, advertise your products, your services on your own media outlet? That's what podcasting can do for your brand and for your business. As long as you are willing to put in the work to create the episodes and upload them so people can listen to you. You know, I'm sitting here right now with over 50,000 plus downloads in over 42 different countries. That means that 42 different countries, 42 different languages, 42 different areas of the world, people are listening to my podcast and hearing any advertisement that I place on any of my episodes. Where can you get that at other than being on television or running commercials during the Super Bowl? But if you have your own podcast and start building your audience, you get to advertise what you are offering and what you have to offer to people to solve their problems. So what are you waiting for? Start that podcast. Reason number five why I started my own podcast for my brand and business. This is probably one of my favorite ones is because podcasting can help you make the money in your business. Hey, why are you in business? You're in business to make money. So after we advertise and market ourselves, now people have an opportunity to literally purchase from you. They have an opportunity to become a customer of yours as long as you have something to offer in your podcast. Or if you're a speaker like me, now people can follow up on your website and ask you or request for you to come and speak 
for their engagements, for their conferences, for their workshops. So this is an opportunity now for you to make money. I don't know anybody who doesn't like making money, especially in your own business, leveraging something that you love to do. Now, here's something that I need you to understand. Some people may have a problem with being on camera or listening to themselves via the audio. And this is what I share with clients that I've had in the past who wanted to start podcasts, who had some type of tension around hearing their voice or seeing themselves on camera. I always have to remind them it's not about you, but it's about you helping people with whatever it is that you're solving for them. So you have to get out of your own way around how you sound, how you look on camera and focus on how you're going to help the people who are listening to your podcast. And once you get out of your own way, now people are willing to exchange their hard earned money for what problem, solution, product, service that you have in order to help them. So just remember that. Remember that it's not about you, but it's about the problem that you're solving for other people in order for them to get the breakthrough or the problem that they have solved. Podcasting can help you make some money. I'm living proof. Coaching programs, speaking opportunities, even client referrals, and even doing virtual events for nonprofits because I honed in on my skill of podcasting and people started calling me to help them start their podcast or host virtual events, especially during what we went through from 2020 to 2022 with the pandemic. So podcasting can definitely help you make money. And that's reason number five why I started my podcast, because I knew it was going to market me in a way to help me make money in my business and grow the business. Reason number six is really connected to reason number one around creating content, because the reason why I started my podcast, because it was going to help me to be searchable through the content that I create. What am I talking about? Search engine optimization. Everybody we know when they are looking for something, what's the first thing they do? They go to Google. And so through your titles of your episodes, through your titles of your podcast, through the guests that you interview, as you're titling your episodes and writing those descriptions, when people are looking for a particular solution and they type it in, your podcast could potentially come up as something for them to listen to or as a resource for them to consume in order to solve whatever it is that they're looking for. And so podcasting helps you with search engine optimization or quote unquote SEO. You want to be able to be found and creating that type of content, having descriptions, having titles that are keyword heavy helps you to be found on line. If you type my name in today on Google, everything that I've ever created content wise is going to come up. And one of the primary things you're going to see are all of my podcast episodes with the various guests that I've interviewed over the years. And I've had some heavy hitter guests. And so if you type in those guest names because you're familiar with their name, my podcast is going to show up as being someone who interviewed and had a conversation with those particular individuals. And so podcasting can help your business be searchable. It can help your business show up when people are asking for the problem that you're solving or looking for the type of service that you potentially provide. And so no matter what kind of business you have, podcasting is going to help you be searchable. Are you searchable right now or can you do more through creating a podcast that creates content that ultimately makes you searchable online in order to sell your service and whatever it is that you have to offer to your potential client or customers? And reason number seven on why I created my podcast for my brand and business is that it allows you an authentic way to network, 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 and also cross promote to build relationships so that you are introduced to new audiences. 
Now, when I say that this is a gold mine, ultimately, your podcast can help you to connect with people that you've always wanted to have a conversation with. I've had quote unquote celebrities on my podcast and they have audiences that would otherwise not even know who I am. But if they share that podcast episode out on their social media or share that podcast episode out to their email list, now I have an audience of people who didn't even know I existed know I existed if they listened to that podcast. Additionally, you can cross promote. So maybe you are interviewing someone who has a podcast. Now that you can cross promote as they are sharing on your podcast and then you can share on their podcast and share each other's content on their various platforms or social media. And so podcasting is a great way to authentically network with influencers, network with celebrities, leaders, individuals whom you find great interest in. And I have found this to be very helpful. It is one of the main ways that I've been able to speak at conferences and share my expertise. One of the main ways that I've been invited to be host of award events over the years. It's one of the main ways that has allowed me to meet new people because someone like me as an introvert can be difficult at times to meet new people. But because I have a podcast and I love to speak and I love to create content, it helps me to easily be able to build relationships and meet new people with my podcast. And so these are some great ways if you've ever considered to start a podcast, these seven reasons why I did it could be similar reasons why you should do it for your business. Podcasting is such a great medium to be able to create content and to help you to get out there in front of people, share with people your personality, share with people your gift, your talents, and your skills. And I really think everybody should have a podcast, no matter what your interest, no matter what your niche, or start a YouTube channel as your podcast. And now you have both YouTube and podcast, which I did. My podcast, Maximize Your Brand, see the link in the description, has its own YouTube channel. And I just upload those videos as an opportunity for people to be able to consume the content and then have a call to action for them to either click a link, join my email list, or just to let them know that I have something that I'm offering. So YouTube family, I hope that you enjoyed this brief video on why you should start your own podcast, me sharing the reasons why I did. And I don't see any reason why you shouldn't if you have some type of product, service, business, brand that you want to get out there. Podcasting is a great way. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be with you each and every week with new content around personal branding, personal development, and even some lifestyle content. But until next time, just remember this, always shoot for the top because it's the bottom that's overcrowded. Take care.